Salutations, it's Mr. Dube, living in a thought world, in being spiritual beings, having a human experience. We need the aid of other people's prayers and the imagination, because you're not simply beings of the flesh, you are spiritual beings first. And there's an entire world that is beyond our perception as man, as human beings. We can look at it in a scientific explanation as well. That the human being is only limited to a certain degree of spectrum of color that they can see. We cannot see other frequencies of light that are able to be seen by other animals such as cats, snakes, dogs, etc. We are not able to see in those frequencies of light. So in a physical sense, literal sense that our eyes, they lie to us because they're not really seeing everything there is to see. There's an entire world that is unbeknownst to our perception similarly if you think about a radio station if you're listening to 5 fm 94.7 702 whatever radio station you listen to if you're here in south africa and you are tuned into that frequency you do not hear the other frequency you do not hear to say you tuned into 702 you don't hear 94.7 you can't hear 5 of him, but it does not mean they do not exist. You simply need to tune into that frequency and then you can hear them again. Similar to us, we're tuned into a specific frequency in this place and our perception, our eyes, the way our human body has been designed can only pick up certain wavelengths and frequencies within a limited range of perception. And living in a world like that, there's things that we can't see that our spiritual being is going through. Spiritual warfare, as they say, where there's other entities that feed off of your fears, they feed off of the negative energy that you are feeding off or giving off. Your worries, your doubts, anxiety, depression, all of those negative states of being, they feed off of that. And it's a constant battle between yourself and them and those entities because you want to be in a state of harmony, in a state of love, connected to the source. However, they want to disrupt that, that mood because they can't feed off of you. They can't benefit from you in that state. Therefore, you need to have people around you that are praying for you. Because your prayers alone, yes, they might assist you because you're calling on the help and you're calling on the aid of all other good beings, all other beings of light in this universe when you are making a prayer or dua. You're calling the assistant the aid of the Most High and he's going to send these angels down and other beings of light to assist you and help you fight that warfare. So you need to surround yourself with people that will pray for you. And remember that other people's prayers hold a heavier frequency than your own due to the way they live and due to the way they behave within this place. Due to their, their righteous ways. They don't write, lie, they don't gossip, they don't cheat, they don't do anything bad that's transgressing against their own soul. Therefore, when they go down on their knees and they ask the universe for something, their prayers shoot through past everybody else's and the universe will respond much faster. And the aid will come a little bit quicker because of where they are in the ranks of the universe in terms of their spirituality and the way they live their life. So you need to find yourself some people like that and surround yourself with people like that that know who you are. Because yeah, it's all good and well, you can go to the mosque and go to a church and you can pray. But if those people don't know your name, they don't know who you are, they're not mentioning your name. Like they're not saying, please bless Timothy. Please bless Shahid. Allow him to Get the strength to go through whatever he's going through. Protect what he already has. You know, not saying your name. It is good to go and pray in a congregation, but it's better to have people that know who you are. Your spiritual squad, your spiritual warrior squad, your tribe is going to pray for you and protect you and help you trans not transgress against your own soul and help you transition into the next chapter 
of your life or the next level of the game, whichever you're aspiring to. However, you need to surround yourself with some spiritual warriors. And metaphysically, living in the thought world and in a world that's created by our imagination and our mind. Everything that surrounds us, everything around even this cap that I'm wearing, which was once an idea inside a man's mind. He visualized it, he saw it, and then source gave him the resources, guided him to bring it into form. Because the Most High is not just going to send down objects that we see and just make them appear in front of us. However, he will inspire thoughts and actions within ourselves that guide us and lead us to creating whatever it is that we are visualizing in our minds. And if you are visualizing something and you're seeing an end inside your mind, and you're focusing on that end. The end will come much faster and much quicker if you have someone else's mind's eye focusing on the same end. So you alone focusing on one goal, granted in time and if you're persistent, you'll reach it and achieve it. But if you have someone else that sees the same thing that you see, that you visualize in your mind, it will come by much faster. So even if it's one person that's visualizing the same thing that you are seeing in your head, it will come much faster. And the more people, and the more people that have that idea, that have that vision in their mind's eye, when they can see it, when they close their eyes at night and they can visualize and they can see the same ends as you are visualizing, then it will come by much faster. So you need to surround yourself with people who see you winning. You see the best in you, the image that you have of yourself, the best possible version that you have of yourself in your mind. You need to have people that when they look at you, when they think about you at night, when they imagine you, they see you in the best possible form that you can be. You need to surround yourself with people who see the best in you. Because the law works both ways. Even if you're lying down and you're thinking negative thoughts, even though it'll come back to them as well, it hurts themselves. But however, if they're thinking negative things about you all the time, there might come a point where there are a little bit of hiccups in your life. You don't understand why because of the negative energy sent your way. That's why you need prayer warriors to block off their negative energy and other people that see you in the best possible form. And not those that see you graveling on, on your knees because that's what they're imagining. That's what they're hoping for. That's what they're praying for because thoughts are also a form of prayer. So if they're seeing and they're hoping and they're praying for that in their mind, because that's why it's a prayer, because they're hoping for it, they're imagining you at your worst state. So you need others. And the source will send others, but you need to recognize them. Others that see you in your best state. So no matter what those people think about you, their thoughts supersede those negative thoughts of everybody else. And if it's people are vibrating at a higher frequency, means that are more say put together than yourself they've got their things in order and they're vibrating at a much higher frequency but they're your friend and he's at a much higher frequency and there's distance between you and reality however there's no distance in his heart for you so when he's lying in bed and he's imagining you and he's seeing you in your best possible form because he's your friend that will help you manifest that form of yourself much faster because even if one person, just one person, you need one person to believe in you and see the same vision that you're seeing for it to come to pass. So it's very important to surround yourself with people who will pray for you, who know your name, will mention your name to the Most High. It's more beneficial to have people mention your name to the Most High than in boardrooms or anywhere else. To the universe, because that's where everything stems from. And you need people that see the best in you when they're imagining you. Because they can actually bring you out of certain states in that, in that sense. Because if you're going through a state and they keep seeing you as happy and back to yourself and your usual self and you're strong again and they're imagining you and they're seeing you like that. And a few of your friends are seeing you like that. The universe will conspire to create those moments for them to live and it's going to live through you. So you're going to become that person because they want it so badly for you. And you need to be that person for others as well. You need to be that person for other individuals and be a prayer warrior for them and also see them in the best possible light because it will come back to you.
So surround yourself with some prayer warriors and seek the aid of other people's imagination.